Inflation is skyrocketing, as I don't need to tell you. The prices for home heating costs, cars, groceries, furniture, rent, gasoline are, are hitting Americans right in the wallet. The, the White House response has been generally to say, hey, inflation shows that we're coming out of the recession, so it's a good sign. That the fact is, the unemployment rate is about half what it was a year ago. So a year ago, people were in their homes, 10% of people were unemployed, gas prices were low because nobody was driving, people weren't buying goods because they didn't have jobs. Now more people have jobs, more people are buying goods, that's increasing the demand. That's a good thing. At the same time, we also know that the supply is low because we're coming out of the pandemic. Uh, and because a bunch of manufacturing sectors across the world have shut down because ports uh, haven't been functioning as they should be. These are all things we're working through. What people should know is that inflation is going to come down next year. Economists have said that. They're all projecting that. But we're working to attack these cost issues that are impacting the American people every single day. But there's different issues in different sectors and, and many of the ones you mentioned.